Hey, how you doing everybody? It's Gio Da Vinci coming to you from Norfolk, Virginia. Today I will be showing you how to tattoo a pumpkin. I've never tattooed a pumpkin, but my fiance asked me to paint a pumpkin for her job to win a contest. They said no carving. I hope they don't mind tattoo. I'm gonna seal it so it won't rot, you know. But anyway. So what we've done so far is just an outline of Frankenstein white face. Check it out. It's nothing yet. The stencil didn't take out too well, but what we did use, we used Electrum. It takes out great on, you know, transfer the stencil really good on human skin, but on pumpkins, not so much. But hey, it is what it is. So we're working with what we got. <clears throat> Okay, and my machine that I'm using today is a Cheyenne Soul Nova Unlimited. It's completely wireless. I highly recommend it. It's great. Just want to be mobile. You can get the stands dance around the client. Not literally, but you can get all around them. And it's great not having to worry about a cord. Normally, I wrap it better than this, but we're just tattooing a pumpkin, so we don't have to worry about cleanliness so much. I'm also uh, reviewing this ink bed stool. Very nice. I like it. Some people gave it bad reviews, but I actually it right now. quite enjoyed it because yeah. I can lean forward and it's really good for my back. Okay, so yeah, check it out. Here we go. All right, here we go. Started out a little slow, just so, you know, real time, so you can see the actual speed of the lines that I'm dragging there. The pumpkin actually took the ink pretty well, in my opinion, better than I thought it would. So basically what we're doing right now, what we call pendulum shading, I'm kind of landing like an airplane and taking off like that. That way you don't have too much of a stop point. But you want to keep it curving with her hair and keep those ripples right. You got to think about where light's hitting things. It's a very important part of the job when you're tattooing. I know it sounds weird when you first think about it, but you just have to pick a spot on your picture where you envision the light right now when you're tattooing your pumpkin you don't want to go too deep you'll see plasma start coming out i just got a little bit of plasma but i think that we're doing good about as deep as i would go on a person maybe a little deeper just because it's a pumpkin it's not like we're hurting mr pumpkin head i'll tell you what though who talks too damn much <laughs> It's not really plasma though, it's pumpkin juice. When it comes to the hair, really you can't be afraid of it. You just gotta dive right into it and it doesn't have to be exactly what the original picture was because we're not doing a portrait type tattoo here. We're doing our own rendition of Frankenstein's wife. And Frankenstein, once we get there, you can kind of see his vague outline right here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get him a little bit, huh? Don't forget to put more ink in your needle. By the way, the cartridge we're using today is a big wasp nine liner that's right all right here we go on the upper lip and then pulling out the nose there for this stencil man when you lay down a stencil on skin if it looks like that you better re-stencil it wipe it off with alcohol redo it but the pumpkin i didn't care like i didn't mind freehanding it like i love to freehand stuff when i have the chance but a lot of times Normally I wouldn't be all over the place like this if this was a tattoo, but the stencil was so bad on this pumpkin. I just want to get over here and hit a little bit on Mr. Frankenstein himself. Key to pulling good lines is always look where you're going. Kind of like driving a car. You don't want to get stuck too much where you're at and get lost in your line, lose your line. You look where you're going, then you'll know where you're going. And it doesn't hurt to lock your wrist too, and know your curves, so you make your curves good and try to stay perpendicular to the pumpkin or to the person, whatever the case may be. Perpendicular. As much as possible. 
staple in the head here. Getting those staples done. Well, one big staple in the gash, in the forehead there. You gotta be careful when doing your pumpkins and with people. Don't go too deep. Risk a blowout. The Cheyenne Soul Noble machine though is really good at not blowing out. Like it's a lot better for realism when you're doing uh, light shading. And if you're doing line work, minor line work. But if you want to pack in some big, bold, thick lines, you want to pop out. Uh, I like to even use a, a 7 mag on the coil machine. It doesn't hurt when you're doing lines either to think about what's going to be closer and what's going to be further away. You can do, if you're doing like a neo-traditional style, you can do bolder lines up close. So I'd make that ear bolder than the rest of his line. Yeah. Persistence is key. There's dips. You got to be mindful. You got to turn with the dip. And try to stay parallel, I mean, excuse me, perpendicular to the skin at all times as much as possible. This is a lot of fun, you guys. I don't know if y'all are enjoying watching this, but I hope so because I'm having a blast doing it. This is pretty fun. If you're a tattoo artist, I highly recommend doing this. Even if you're not a tattoo artist. Just for kicks. And uh, if you just have a machine and you just start. If you're new starting out, this is great because if you mess up on your tattoos, you don't have to mess up on a friend. Hey, yeah. You just mess up on a pumpkin. It's all good. Because it don't matter. It's just a pumpkin. It's old pumpkin head. <laughs> old pumpkin head. Now, if they would just sit still, stop moving, man. Terribly, terribly moving a lot, mate. It's alright. It's probably all the fuddle wagon. <laughs> yeah, so, right here we're just going away on some of his hair. Putting a couple staples in his hair. Mm -hmm. Keep looking for Vaseline that's not there because I'm so used to using Vaseline on people and it's just weird but hey, you know, I'll get used to it. Don't be afraid to get some ink on your needle. It's kind of working in that hairline. Put a bolt here on his neck. Make it a little wider as it comes out so it looks like it gets bigger, yeah? That's what I like to do. Call that Force Perspective. Force Perspective, baby. Y'all might have learned about it in middle school, high school, or, you know, early stuff. But it's still fun stuff to remember. It is indeed. By the way, I didn't explain to you what my fiance does. She works at the hospital in a cafe as a barista. So after I get done putting these beautiful faces up on this pumpkin, we're going to add some other stuff. Maybe like some coffee cups, uh, some bats, some happy trees. <laughs> they probably won't be happy trees though, for real, you know. They'll probably be more like scary trees, man. Caught to be scary, yeah. Please excuse my random voices that I do sometimes. I don't mean to do it. It just happens. Too many movies. So here I am. When you're doing line work, you have to focus not only where you're at, but also where you're at. Alright. Okay. You have to Basic outline of both their faces on there. See how we're looking. We're not going for perfect. We're just going for pretty. Took me about an hour to get to that point. I like the neo-traditional style, so a lot of times what I'll do after I get a basic outline, I'll go back and just calligraphy my lines how they need to be, clean them up, smooth them out, make sure they're all even, or 
just about even like I said you might want to make some lines bigger if they're supposed to be closer just to give it that depth perception you can accomplish a lot with showing depth just with lines before you even go into shading depth is important just trying to accomplish a little bit of texture going on here in his hair I don't want to overdo it I just want enough a little, little bit of light over a uh, a lighter shade of black here than what I was using. I'm trying to keep it random but organized here. Organized, that's right. Leads us back to not being perfect. If you're a perfectionist, don't try to be so perfect. Just try to get it about 70%, 80% perfect. You gotta practice your faults. You really do. But you should learn to be more creative and try to push your free handing capabilities more. Even if it's simple stuff like that, coffee cups and lettering. Lettering's important, man. That's one thing I struggled with for a long time. I'm too happy looking. Frank's finding that happy. Maybe he's a little happy to see his bride, though, you know what I mean? Any, any monster would be happy to see their bride. And they're like, oh my word. Come here and let me love you. If Frank is kind of capable of love. Now I think he would be. Well, maybe not. If he if he has a soul, then yeah. But does Frank Stein have a soul? Hmm. That's up for debate. Put it in the comments. Tell me if you think Frankenstein has a soul. So do you think Frankenstein has a soul? And if so, is he capable of love? I like to think so. Yes, I'd like to think all living beings, whether it's reincarnated or not, is capable of that. Frankenstein has a big schnoz, big old Dumbo ears. Yeah, that's Frankenstein. Fun fact, you guys. So, my last name is Rank. My mother's last name is Stein. Frankenstein, that's right. Ha <laughs> ha. I put my signature on it without him even knowing it. Yeah, fun stuff. Doop, 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 doop. Back to some hair, baby. Oh, Frankenstein's got a hair texture. And it's her. And it's her, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I don't sing. I rap a little. You know, just for fun. If y'all want to check out. Got some other videos posted of me rapping on my channel please like subscribe because we got plenty more videos like this coming hit that button subscribe <clears throat> so where do you think pumpkin heads from man i like to think straight from the patch of norfolk yeah norfolk virginia my lovely home Speaking of my music though, yeah, for real, check it out. I gotta, I'll play a little clip. Like the Mad Hatter, but I'm sadder than Madder. I get the is better, really, my own And that's all you get right now, yeah. So, anyway, back to this. Just so you know, uh, using soap and water on the pumpkin is a little difficult because it doesn't want to wipe off, so you might want to use alcohol while wiping off the pumpkin. But don't use alcohol on your friends, mate. Not very good, no, no. Mm -mm. Where do you think Frankenstein and his wife went on their honeymoon, man? Go ahead and put that in the comments below, too. Where did Frankenstein go on his honeymoon? Maybe to a graveyard. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the whole thing. But, you know, I like, it's the passion of the art. If you're in this for money, man, you're in it for all the wrong reasons, you see. You ought to have the, the blood on it. You know, if I don't like the hair, I might end up painting over the hair. We'll see how I feel, though. I'm kind of liking the way her hair is coming out. Yes, very nice. Where her hair dips down will be those shadows. And where it comes back up, we'll have those nice highlights there. Very important. Right here, man. Like I say, 
the hair you just can't be scared of it. You gotta dive right in, just get it done, man. You can't be scared of tattooing at all, first of all. You just have to be ready. Know it's gonna hurt them. And know that they'll be alright. And you be mindful how you're holding that machine. You don't wanna be scratching people up. Here's one thing I forgot to mention, okay? If a needle catches on skin repeatedly, check that needle. Not all needles are perfect, man. Some will got bent. Maybe you messed it up pulling it out of the package. Who knows? Now, different shading techniques. I'm shading right now with just a liner, man. It's okay to shade with a liner if you know how to do it right. You just got to envision where your light source is coming from. And you just have confidence and patience in yourself, man. Yeah. Now, these bats were free-handed, of course. It's nothing. Battery died. By the way, the batteries on these Cheyenne Soul Novas last about six hours, seven hours. Only takes about three hours to charge and it comes with two batteries. You can buy the off-brand batteries for about four bucks. Go on Amazon. Amazon's a wonderful thing, people. Back to the bats. This black I'm using is super black by Intense. This is a really great black. It's so black that you have to dilute it a little bit when tattooing because if you don't just dilute it a little bit, it makes it hard for the ink to want to come out of the cartridge. And no, I don't mean dilute it with tap water. If you're going to use water, make sure you use distilled water on all your tattoos. Very important, all the impurities in tap water are not good for your skin. It could risk infection and all sorts of nasty stuff. So never use tap water on a tattoo. That's right. So. Just kind of making my own lines here. The way I drew those ones. I decided to go with Frankenstein, not only because, you know, or Frankenstein, excuse me, because my last name is Rankin and my mother's last name, maiden name was Stein, but also because it's a more classic horror flick, rather than, like, say, your 1980s horror flicks, which I do love, don't get me wrong, huge fan of Freddy, Jason, Hellraiser, Chucky, all them guys. But I feel like nothing hits home like the classics, man. Come on, pumpkin. Move, pumpkin head. My favorite friend, yeah. Well, anyway, I was speaking about my inks. They're vegan inks. I've been vegan for about two years. But now I've gone more of a flexitarian, mate. I'll try... Things here and there, but 90% of the time I'm eating. I still won't eat meat. Okay. okay, so right now I'm just redrawing the bat because I didn't like the way the bat was drawn. Don't be afraid to redraw stuff or freehand stuff, even if you're confident enough in yourself. Now, if you're not confident, you might want to stick to your stencil mate and try not to freehand too much. Kind of hesitant to use the mag needle on these bats now. If I was doing a person, I'd probably just start out with the mag needle on these bats because you really don't need an outline if the whole thing's gonna be black, man. You just turn your needle, you see, you turn it, angle it, you can get your mag needle like a liner. Hey guys, I want to try out another needle, see how it does on a pumpkin. Right here, we got a big wasp 9 mag. A little more like a paint brush. Alright, so when you're shading and you're trying to pack it in, you don't really want to do like the pendulum shading or the whip shading. No, you could start with whip on the outside, but really once you get in there, you want to cake it in back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just make sure it sticks and push it in there, but not too far. You don't want to blow it out. Well, the Cheyenne so noble, the 
unlimited. It's kind of hard to blow it out, but you're not going to blow out a pumpkin. I can guarantee you that. Skin's different than a pumpkin, man. It's better to practice with Mr. Pumpkinhead. Nothing like a good fun of whacking men. I first started out tattooing myself, to be personally honest. Did a lot of crap work too, man. Stuff I'm still covering today. Once you get good at cover-ups, you can just cover your crap. <laughs> I kind of wish I did more, I had time to do more, but you see, at this point it was about 4 o'clock in the morning when I got to this point, and I was going in for about 4 hours by the time I got done, and I just didn't have it in me anymore, man. Tattooing takes time, especially if you want it done right, you can't rush it, no. See the Express Oasis there on the cups. That was freehanded. So are the cups and so are the smoke. I know they're simple, but it's the simple freehand things that make it hard. And even with the stencil, I feel like I freehanded half the image anyway, because it was so damn blurry, mate. I just looked at the image. Make sure you have your reference in front of your face so you can go off the guideline, especially if your stencil was as jacked up as mine was. And dedication, mate. Remember, once you find your uh, passion, you follow that passion, you hold on to it, man, and you seize that passion till you get to your purpose. That's right. You get to your purpose no matter what. My purpose, personally, is just to inspire people. See? Inspire people and show them love through creativity. Because creativity has helped me overcome my obstacles. Like going to jail when I was younger. In and out of jail, getting into trouble. All that nonsense, bourgeois business, yeah? Well... I had to get out of it, for not only for me, mates, but for my kids. So I started doing art and dedicating my life into this. Because I love this, it makes me happy. And busy hands, stay out of trouble, you know. That's all right. I'm a change man, I can honestly say. Turn my life right around. Yes, I did. I get to do fun stuff like tattoo pumpkins in my free time. Ha! <laughs> you want a pumpkin, right? Go from being locked up when I'm 30 to having my own place, my own car, my own studio here. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love life and don't ever give up on yourself. You don't. And I know I'm getting way off subject, but I'm kind of mushy. I love love. That's right. Alright, everybody. So, my phone died, so I wasn't able to show you everything I did. The final touches on the pumpkin. Um, I did a little more shading, and I did some white tattooing, but the white didn't nope. quite stay as white as I would like it to, like it would have on skin. Kind of went gray, I guess, because the orange of the pumpkin. But I use some acrylic white paint and this is the final product. This is what we got. Yeah man. <laughs> yeah. Bride of Frankenstein. Express Oasis with Frankenstein. What I was in this contest. I did put one coat of sealer on here, polyurethane spray, just kind of give it a nice shiny glossy effect at the end and to help prevent it it's from decaying right faster because you know we don't want it to rot, especially since they said no carving, we don't want any rotting at all. So I'm going to probably put another coat of polyurethane on here just to make it shine some more, protect it some more, make it last longer. And hopefully she wins it, you guys. I really appreciate y'all sticking with me. Tattooing pumpkins. <laughs> uh.
my first time. Hope y'all do it. I hope y'all love it as much as I loved it. And love each other, love yourself, and peace out. I'm like the mad at her, but I'm sadder than mad at her. Like, this shit just keeps on building up, but I've lost all my tolerance.